Let's just start off by officially saying hello and welcome to Wicked Lick of the Day. Um, if you're not already following me on Periscope, please find me. Uh, just look up Steve Stein, S-T-I-N-E, uh, and you can find me on Periscope. I do this every day at 3 p.m. Central. Hey, everybody, it's good to see you. Um, and you can find the tablature if you go to uh, igpa.org, O-R-G, slash, Wicked Lick, slash, 10. So today we're doing number 10, all right? Can you hear my guitar okay out there? Hey, everybody. All right, so this one's going to be a Marty Friedman-inspired lick, um, and it looks like this. And what's really neat about this is you can use this in your blues playing, and that's what I want to show you. First thing I'll do is show you the lick, and second thing I'll do is I'll show you how to use it realistically in your playing. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take and play the 10th, 12th, and 15th frets of the second string as well as the first string. 10, 12, 15. 10, 12, 15. Okay? Now the pattern is the same on both strings. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the second string, 12 to 10, and we're going to do a pull-off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the 12th fret of the third string. And then we're going to go back to the 10. Okay, Okay. so so we're going to do that twice. We're going to go, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the 15th fret, and we're going to do a pull-off to the 10, and then the 12, and then again. So you have... Okay, so if you do have your guitar handy, grab it. And let's play this a little bit. If you don't have your guitar, keep your eyes on the road or keep working so you don't get fired, right? And then you can watch it later on YouTube and download the tab. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the 14th fret and we're going to do a pull off from 14 to 12. Or 14 to 10, excuse me. So you don't ever move off the 10. You just stay there the whole time. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the 12th fret of the first string and do exactly the same thing. So you have... Okay? Now what's really cool about this is all you're really doing, if we take the 14th fret out of this, you're just playing pentatonic. Okay? 12, 10. It's just your fifth position of pentatonic. I'm playing in the key of E right now. Right? And then up here, you'd have 12 and 15 on both of these strings, which would put you in your first position of E minor pentatonic. See, so you can, you can use that any way you want. Well, when we add these 14s in, they're not pentatonic notes, but they can certainly be used whether you're playing rock or blues or anything like that. So if we were to take all those notes and put them together... I can use them however I want. You see what I mean? So with this lick, what you're doing is you're just finding a really cool place to add in. Even, let's just break down the lick here. So even if I just did this, I'd have a cool lick. If I did this, I'd have a cool lick, right? So I can chop this up, and please always remember that when I or anybody else would show you a guitar lick. Don't just take it and play it exactly how we show you, but learn how to mess around with it and make it something that you can use on a regular basis. Sometimes we get inspired by something that we hear or something that we learn, and um, we don't play it the same way. We just Something about it makes us go, oh, I'd like to do it this way. There is nothing wrong with that. As a matter of fact, that is the greatest thing you could possibly do. Okay, I don't play like Marty Friedman and... You know, so I just take a lot of the things that I learn and I try and figure out how to use them in a cool way, right? So we've got. Now let me speed that up and play it repetitively so you can hear it. You see? So, th and the trick with that is, is that you want to make sure that you keep the other strings quiet as you do this, right? This goes back to, uh, you know, a lick I teach a lot where the, the, the most important part of this to get it fast 
is this part here, the guitar pick, this part here. That's the, the big trick with this. It's the, the Kirk Hammett, all these guitar players that use these, all those kind of licks. All that kind of stuff. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you understand the picking technique here. Essentially what you're doing is you're going to play down, down, up. So let me, instead of playing from the second string like this, what I'm going to do is start on the third string and show you this kind of backwards. It's, it's, a, it's essentially sweep picking. Yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to push through the third string and the second string at the same time with the same downstroke. So you're not going click, click. You're not moving the wrist. You're not going, don't do that. Push through those two strings. And then pull with an upstroke on the 12 and then do a pull off. So all you're doing is you're pushing through two strings with one downstroke and then you're pulling up with one upstroke and then you're doing a pull off. So it sounds a lot faster and harder than it actually is. But the trick is you got to push through these two downstrokes. You are through those two strings, excuse me. You got to push through those. Don't don't do that because you'll never be able to do that. So now in this lick that I'm showing you, the only difference is, is I'm starting with the up stroke for the first pull off. Now I don't normally start with up stroke, so I'm playing it as a down just to get the ball rolling. But once I get into the sequence, then I'm going to be going down, down, up, down, down, up. So that very first pick that I do is a down just because it feels most comfortable to me. And it doesn't matter because it's followed by a, a pull off. So if you want to start with an upstroke, you can. If you want to start with a downstroke, you can. But once you get into it, you got to keep that down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up pattern going. So as I do this, see? See? Right there, I'm pushing through. I still got to push through like a little mini sweep pick, okay? So explore this on your own. Have some fun with it. Have a wonderful day. And, uh, and I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully you'll all join me tomorrow and we'll learn another lick. Remember, uh, check out igpa.org if you want some uh, you know, instructional material from me. And also make sure that you um, sign up on Periscope if you're not already signed up. And then just check me out on YouTube and I'll try and do this every day for you. If you want to send me some ideas for a song um, or a lick style or anything that you're thinking of, go to steve at guitarzoom.com and just put in the subject line wicked lick or wicked lick of the day or something like that, and I'd be happy to help you out. So everybody take care, have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.